Hello guys, welcome back! In today's video I'm going to do an orchid collection update. I know it's been a while but uh, now I am back, my exams are over and uh, I think the best way to start again doing orchid videos it is by doing a uh, whole orchid collection update so i will start from here this is my um leilo catlea siamese doll kiwi uh you will observe that i have changed uh, on a lot of orchids the pebbles they are in i started to use uh, the rounded ones the other ones had a different shape but i will do a different video about that she is doing very good she is producing a new cane here and uh, she didn't have uh, all that many roots uh, when i have uh, changed the pebbles i um, observed also that uh, this suitable bulb was sick had a middle part that was just dried so uh, i decided to cut it off but uh, I think it's looking very good. It is recovering nicely. And here I have my uh, Cattleya Chianti Lodison Summer Beauty. This orchid is full, full of roots, as you can see. She's loving semi hydro. She has uh, just matured this growth. But it didn't produce a sheet, and uh, I'm not really sure why it was that. She had enough roots, she was well fed, and uh, she had good light. So, uh, yeah, I am hoping she will start to produce a new suitable soon, and maybe she will give me some blooms in um, late winter or spring. Right now, I see she is producing some new roots from that growth, so um, yeah. Here I have my Cattleya Cornerstone uh, compass and uh, this also has an amazing root system. She is starting to look uh, much much better because I had this old growth from when I have originally purchased them which were kind of flimsy and also I had a hailstorm but now she is really really picking up growth. She has uh, at the moment four growth. One, two the second is here three and four so um she is uh, looking a lot better she had uh, produced uh, this year this growth and this growth so uh, i will have at least six growth this year which is very very good but again she didn't produce a sheet and uh, on this area i have very very good light so um yeah, I am hoping that with this growth, uh, maybe she will bloom. Here is another very, very interesting cross. If uh, I manage to find the tag, if not, I will write it on the screen. Anyway, she is also producing some growths here, doing good in this uh, semi-hydro setup. And this is my crown jewel. She is Cattleya Doliana aurea. This is this is an amazing orchid species and for the first time she is producing two new growths for me one here and one here she also had a ton a ton of roots and she also had uh, grown this suitable this year so uh, she's doing very very good she actually loves semi hydro uh, here i have my Brassavola St. Andre. This is a cross between uh, Nodosa and Doiana. And uh, I actually discovered that uh, that bushy orchid that I purchased from Schwerter uh, actually were uh, four orchids. So um, yeah, I kept them together and uh, they didn't have roots when I have uh, reported her uh, after I purchased it a few months ago. But now, as you can see, she is rooting very, very well. She is producing some lovely, lovely new growth. Uh, yeah. So this um, Psychopetalum trozy blue was also in bloom, but uh, I didn't really manage to 
caught it on a video but I have some very nice pictures with the bloom so I will show you that it is doing very good the blooms lasted for about one month and a half which is a pretty good blooming time and uh, yeah it is maturing this growth which I hope will be larger than the last one I am uh, now spraying them regularly for uh, spider mites so I hope I won't mess any more the leaves because this is very sensitive to spider mites here is one of the first orchid orchids that I ever purchased this is my Cattleya Oh, Fire Phoenix. It has a very very pretty name and right now it is producing a very very pretty growth right here. This will be a hell of a suit bulb. Um, this is uh, the last suit bulb it has produced. This one here. It is uh, very tall and uh, quite fat but uh, I'm a little bit worried about the markings on the leaves. Let me focus a little bit. Here you go. So uh, I have also been doing uh, foliar sprays and uh, some orchids that had purple colorations um, now are fine but uh, this particular one doesn't seem to get better and uh, I can see on the back of the leaf, leaf it doesn't look all that great and to be pretty pretty honest this for me looks like a virus so right now I think I should separate this orchid and um, yeah see how the blooms will look like because I have never uh, seen this orchid in bloom so I'm waiting for this uh, growth to bloom and uh, I will decide after that if she is virus she will go in the trash and I will buy a new one here we have another Cattleya species, Cattleya germaniae. Uh, she also is growing very very well. She grew this suitable this year. And uh, I know she is producing a new one here on the base. Here you go. She also has a lot a lot of fruits. She is branching more so she is very very happy. And here I have a uh, Fafio Pedalum American Hybrid. I hope I will get a bloom from this orchid from this growth after. Um, wait. Yeah, it doesn't yet has had the spike, but um, after this growth matures, uh, I should get a spike during the winter last winter she produced a spike, but she dried it off, and that was very very odd because. Um, I uh, went uh, on a holiday for one week, when I left the spike was okay, when I have returned it was all dried up, so um, that was quite weird and I, mm, I'm not really sure what happened because I was not there, so yeah, hoping for a better fortune this year. Okay, here I have that amazing cattleya that uh, Corina sent me. Um, I don't think she gave me her idea and I'm not sure if it's a no idea or she just forgot but um, yeah she produced this suitable I have a sheet and I have some buds inside this sheet which is pretty amazing and uh, here I have a lovely growth and uh, we can see that she is also producing quite a lot of roots there so she is loving semi hydro also I have changed the pebbles on this one she has an amazing root system not worried about this one at all uh, some leaves from the tree trees are starting to fall down and they are falling inside my orchid pot so I am constantly taking off the leaves <laughs> okay here not sure what happened here this leaf was looking okay a few days ago mm, maybe I gave her uh, more right I'm not sure. I will uh, put some magnesium on this one, maybe see if it disappears. Okay, so this is my um, Cattleya species, um, Cattleya gascaliana, and she produced this two new growths this year. You can see they are the biggest uh, that uh, she ever produced, and now she is working on some new ones. I have one there on the base, and I'm pretty sure the other one is about to produce one as well. She also has a lot of roots. I still need to tickle a bit the pods to make the pebbles go in between the roots a little bit better, but uh, I will do that later. 
Okay, so sorry about that. I needed to uh, close up the video. Well, too much noise, but um, yeah. Here I have a very pretty cutlea species, cutlea varsovicea or something like that. Uh, okay, this is an amazing orchid, and the blooms are so so pretty. And uh, this is the biggest growth uh, this orchid ever produced, and uh, it is not yet fully matured, so. Uh, it will get plumper and uh, prettier, of course. I uh, don't really think this orchid will produce a shit right now because uh, it is uh, rather young. This is supposed to be quite a tall orchid, but uh, I'm fine. She's on the good track. I purchased it from Equahenera some time ago, about two years ago, and it really wasn't healthy. So uh, she is doing very, very good right now. Here is another orchid that uh, was very sick and it is uh, still not doing all that good from Equahenera. It is a Cattleya Ancleo Stars and Stripes. So, um, yeah, she had a lot of growths that were uh, keep uh, dying off. Now she is producing uh, this growth right here, which uh, I think is a good sign uh, that it wasn't killed so far and uh, I think she's also working on some roots uh, I hope you can see that there you go so uh, she's doing good I really need to move this orchid in another location because it's uh, leaning over and uh, here I have uh, another orchid which I really really hope to get to bloom this is my Rechara Frances Fox and she's working on three growths. Who would have believed that? Because she was really um, having a bad infestation with Fusarium and uh, now she has this growth which is not yet fully matured. This one, this will be quite some big um, pseudobulbs because uh, they didn't yet uh, fully matured and they will get plumper than this. This will be a smaller one. This is on the back side of the orchid where I have uh, cut into the rhizome where I showed you that uh, purple ring. And here I have um, a Cattleya Alma Kitip Mali. She is working on two new growths and I will explain in another video. I really found a very interesting, uh, or not one product, more products that are working so so good on orchids and uh, they are pushing them to do multiple growth so um, I am really looking forward to do that video for you. Here I have a tiny tiny sheet with uh, some bud inside which is uh, quite amazing also because uh, this sheet is very very small. Uh, if you look at the previous sheet, that was a proper sheet, a big one. But uh, I hope I will get a bloom from that one. Here is another orchid from Equahenera, which uh, is recovering nicely because it was uh, um, having a very, very bad infestation with Fusarium. And now it is working on a lot of fruits here and also from the new growth. This is a uh, Ballara Marfitch Howard's Dream and this has such a pretty flower. I cannot wait to see this orchid in bloom. This is the Paphiopedalum noidi that I got from Dani. It is producing this growth and I see something else there inside and I am really hoping that one is a spike. Then this one it is in spike and we really don't know how this orchid looks like. Not only she is an OID but she never bloomed. She gave me a cake and mine it is producing here a new fan which is pretty amazing because it's uh they have uh, these beautiful leaves and I'm really looking forward to see a bushier one. Here is that um, twinkle that I bought from um, Orchid Garden. This orchid is really not doing good. Ever since I purchased it, it uh, kept... Um, dying off growth it rotted them out and it's not uh, because the water was trapped in i think it's a bacteria that is inside this orchid but right now she's starting to do a little bit better because um before she never had these uh, new roots the whiter ones if you see them so um i will put that on the new products that i use and i hope i will be be able to save this one because uh, she has some very very pretty blooms 
here is a um, phalaenopsis no idea that my father uh, gifted me and uh, <laughs> yeah um, these are two cakes from the mother plant the mother plant had only this spike and that was a terminal spike so that is quite weird the first spike that this orchid ever created was a terminal one but these ones were um, are looking a lot a lot better I hope I will manage to ID her once she blooms I hope I will get a spike from this one this is a cake she produced this year so uh, you can see it's uh, quite uh, weak I think I will separate this one because uh, on the top part of the um, medium uh, we don't have all that much moisture and this uh, cake doesn't really have all that many roots so uh, I need to separate him until she is doing better and after that uh, I will put her I will put the cake again with the mother plant this is uh, a nice idea when you want to save space okay this is my um, Phalaenopsis Timothy Christopher this has such an interesting uh, pattern of growing you can see that uh, the leaves are uh, I mean the stem in between the leaves is uh, not very tall and uh, it's quite a compact grower it doesn't produce all that uh, big leaves and uh, yeah i'm really hoping for a spike soon here is my oncidium uh, latio and uh, it's growing on this new growth and this one here in the back um i'm noticing some um, nitrogen deficiency here not really sure why because I really feed all my orchids very good but I am seeing some roots on the top of the medium which uh, are dying off and this is not normal but um, this is a division from Dani and hers uh, was infected with fusarium but because I treat all my orchids for fusarium I don't really know what to say I think I will report her and see what is happening inside the medium but the pseudobulbs are very plump so um yeah, I will also try to continue with the foliar treatments and uh, see maybe I get her uh, to look a little bit uh, healthier because this green, you see it's quite, uh, it has some yellow uh, strings here and uh, this doesn't look all that good. I will do a video about this one. Uh, this is my Phalaenopsis orange peach and uh, you can see she is full of algae and uh, yeah I think this will be my next video I uh, will show you how I will uh, treat this thing she is producing a cakey or a spike here I put some cakey paste but um, not always you really get a cakey sometimes you get a spike a secondary spike anyway she is producing this nice new growth and uh, yeah she's doing good this this is that uh, file that I bought in spring there were three in a pot and I also put some uh, cakey paste here she is producing something hope that one is a spike or a cakey but I already have three plants I don't really need another one she has some very very pretty and dainty blooms I hope uh, I will see some uh, blooms from her this year too. She has produced a ton, a ton of fruit, so uh, I'm quite happy. I managed to sunburn her this summer, but uh, yeah, that is happening sometimes. She's in a much better uh, place right now.